Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. Today I'm going to use some of the things that were sent out in my September Patreon packs and do a little layout in my journal. Now if you've seen any of my previous videos, um, you, you'll notice that I used an idea journal or like a place where I usually did these type of layouts and I recently filled up that journal. You can actually see a full flip through of the finished journal. I'll try to link that below, but I need to actually make another one and I'll definitely be doing that with you guys. But for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and just use a journal insert that I had in one of my personal journals. Um, but yeah, I thought I would mention that in case anyone has been waiting to make like their own inspiration or idea journal. So anyways, first I'm going to just find a place. I haven't started this journal and I could probably do it in the front here, but I don't know. I was feeling like kind of being like a rebel here. <laughs> This is also a reminder that if you are a Patreon member and you use your items in a layout, you can email me a photo and let me know to enter you into the monthly giveaway because um, I'll be doing that every single month. So that will be fun. And um, in this video, I'm even going to feature some of the photos that I was sent from my Patreon members. They're all so talented and I wanna be able to share that with you guys. So we'll have a little break in the video where I share those photos and if you maybe like what you see and they might have included one of their social media links go give them a follow I think it'll be kind of fun okay I think we're just gonna go ahead I don't know I'm feeling very indecisive okay guys actually you know what no this is what I'm feeling I like the tree I like the coffee dyed paper let's do it here okay so I also did a video showing all the things that were sent in the September mail, so you can check that out. I know I want to use this because I just love the print so much. It is a little bit wider than my journal, which might mean the same for lots of you. So let's find a way to do that. And this is an envelope, so I could like do a flap. Um, we have a tag also. This tag probably actually almost fits in here perfectly. It would. Okay, so ooh, maybe I'll actually make this. I have an idea. So I'm going to close the envelope. I think I'm going to make start out at least by making this a little side pocket. And wouldn't it be crazy if I didn't know where my scissors were? <laughs> yeah, it would be pretty normal. Okay, I think... Since this is already an envelope, it's already basically a pocket, and I think I'm just going to trim off some. Let's see here. And maybe actually this will make it fit on my page better anyways. I'm just guessing here. Let's see if that will fit in here. I need to get my nails done really bad, so sorry for that. Oh yeah, because in that, I mean, it sticks out a little bit, but it's not bad. In fact, I could, I. Okay, I say it's not bad, but it, it the amount that it's sticking out it does actually kind of bother me. So I'm just going to, there's no reason that this pocket has to be like a closed pocket. So I'm just go like that. And actually, if I wanted, I could close this up with staples or something. But, you know, I have this little stapleless stapler. And I think I'll try this. It just kind of crimps the edges enough to where something won't fall out. We'll do a few of these up the side here. There we go. Okay, I think that's gonna be good enough and then I can have the pocket, or sorry, have the tag in here. And this does have a pocket on the back too, but as of right now, I'm not sure that I need to put anything in there. This is just gonna be kind of a, a layout for fun, really, so. Okay, so I wanna glue this down, and I'm thinking, why not just glue like along the edges and keep the top open. That way, if I decide I want to have like a top loading pocket, I would have space for that too. I probably didn't, I just realized since this hangs over the edge, I probably don't need glue on this side, but that's okay. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm just gonna have, I want this to be all the way down at the bottom here. Just make sure that gets attached. Yeah, I love how easy these layouts are with the monthly packs because, oh yeah, I didn't need glue right there, uh, because, it, you know, you're using things that are basically already done for you. And so when you only have a little bit of time, it kind of makes it nice to be able to use items that are already done. Okay, now I have just wet glue that I didn't need. So I am just looking around for... I had some washi tape. Yep, I'm just gonna, just for temporary use, get some washi tape. Cause I don't want white glue everywhere. That's really the only reason we're doing this here. Okay, good enough. We'll call that good. Okay, so this should be glued down enough. And then we have some other fun things. We have this Polaroid picture. Like that could even just go in the pocket. And then this could be a place for journaling, which I don't I don't think I'll add journaling to this layout right now, but I also really wanted to add this little library card. It is a lot of mushroom, but I, I love mushroom stuff. So I think I'm gonna maybe add that right there. Um, there's also like some fabric. I really like this tree picture over here and I sort of wanna keep that, but I also want to add like, something a little bit too. We interrupt your regularly scheduled program to take a look at Patreon per project picks. Yeah. All right. Since I have a musician husband, I should probably have him help me out with that. Let's jump in. We're going to share some layouts. This is a layout done by Debbie Ross. She used her monthly mail. I love it. It's gorgeous. Cindy Burkhalter Books by Burke has a YouTube channel, and this is one of her layouts. I'm going to have any links below if you want to follow these folks. Catered Paper on Etsy has some new items in her shop. And last but certainly not least, we have a layout done by Madeline. She has an Etsy shop, Madeline Diet. Go check her out as well. Send them some love. Let's get back into the project. I could have this be like a little flippy, but I think it's like too many main mushroom things, so I don't think I need to add that. Maybe, okay, maybe like a little pocket. Also, there was like a mushroom sticker. Yeah. And even though I just said I don't want too many mushrooms, I feel like this one's like small enough that it would just kind of tie it all in together. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Just to kind of decorate up this little pocket here. And I'll actually put it on this side. Yeah, and then I could put like some little things in here. This teeny little tag. Actually, I think I'll do something with this tag. I think I'm going to see if I can write down the date on this. I have a date stamp, but I think it would be too big for this. So we'll just go 9, 29, 22. Okay. I'll just go ahead and glue this down in the corner. Just straight down. Yeah, and since I like the tree picture, I think I just want to keep that. This has an adhesive back, so I can go ahead and remove that and just attach that right down here in the middle. And then we have our little tag right there. Figure out where I want to add this. I feel like I need a few more things like over in this little area. Maybe I'll staple this to the top here. Just kind of as a fun little piece that can get moved around. Okay. Sorry, I'm at a very weird angle, so. Okay. That should be okay there. Whoops. So we have our little tag with the date on it. Um, yeah, I have some other bits and pieces, but I think that's all I want to add for right now. I mean, it's simple, but I like it. And there's a ton of places for journaling. Or if I was using this as like a personal spread, I would maybe put like a photo right up here, something like that. Like 
you know, up here. I'm not going to put another mushroom sticker, but you get the point. Yeah, I'd probably keep it pretty small, I think. Um, but I could also include it in the little pockets that we have going on. And then, like, there's just room for so much more, so. We don't, I think that's all we'll do there. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this really quick journaling session. Um, let me know. What, what do you think? Do you like it? <laughs> I will see you guys um, in the next video. Hey, P.S., let me know. Do you have any requests for videos right now? I am slowly, very slowly, getting back into the mix of um, regular filming and... I do have a really long list of requested videos, but they're literally from up to a couple of years ago kind of thing. So I want to hear from like my newest and most current subscribers, like what do you like seeing the most from me? Um, and then that way I can try to start filming some of those to give you guys the content that you love to see. And also, just another quick reminder, if you are a Patreon member, yeah, definitely send me a photo if you made a layout, and it can be, it. there's no rules to what your layout looks like, it doesn't have to be a layout, it could be anything you made with any of the items that you got from your mail, and then you'll be entered into a giveaway, and I have some really fun things for the giveaway. So, that's it for today. I'll let you guys go. Thanks for hanging out. Peace.